hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can implement react navigation version 4.0 site drawer so that means whenever we click on hamburger icon or menu icon over here so that time a site drawer will be open from the left hand side or right hand side we can customize that from which side we want it to open so this is my second tutorial on react native version 4 in my previous tutorial i have shown you how we can build this stack navigator over here so if i click on this go to details button then we are in the detail screen and if we click on this back then we are back to our home screen so in my previous tutorial which is the first tutorial of react navigation version 4.0 i have shown you how we can create this stack navigator and in this tutorial i am going to implement how we can build this drawer navigator if you find this tutorial helpful to you and you are interested in more this kind of tutorial then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell for notifications of my future videos so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial So over here this is our react navigation official website and over here we can find the docs menu so we will go to that doc menu and in the guide section we can see the drawer navigation and over here we can see the drawer navigation guide but before implementing this we need to have a look into another thing as well this guide covers create drawer navigator so we need to go to this create drawer navigator first and over here what do we need to do we need to first install the react navigation drawer to our react native project so that is the new thing as you can remember if you have seen my previous tutorial that for the stack navigator also we need to install another package react navigation stack kind of i don't remember that actually but we have the separate package for stack navigator and this is similar for this drawer as well so we need to copy this code and i will paste this command over here and as you know already that i am using npm over here so i will remove this yarn command and i will replace it with npm install right and after that we need to press enter so now our package has been added now we can start implementing this drawer navigation on our package so i can copy these things from here and i have already created on my previous tutorial this detail screen and this home screen as well and we have the similar thing over here so for the home screen i will copy this and over here i will paste this i don't need this drawer icon because i don't have any asset over here so i will just comment it out and after that for the detail screen i can grab this code from here it is showing the notification screen but that doesn't matter it is another screen right so we have another screen the detail screen and similarly i will comment out this drawer icon and it will be our details okay so the level will be details and after that what we can do we can create this drawer navigator and this app container will wrap this my draw navigator so i copy this my draw navigator and over here i have previously created the create stack navigator so currently i'm just commenting it out and create draw navigator is our home screen so we have our home screen okay and for another screen it will be our detail screen so i copy it and paste it over here it will be details right and for the app container i will replace root stack with my drawer navigator so that have been done now we need to open our drawer so i'm creating another button over here on which we will open the drawer so i copy this button from here and make this title open drawer and we need to provide the navigation code over here 
so for navigation we can use this open drawer to open the drawer and this close drawer for the closing the drawer and if we want to have these two features from one button click then we can have this toggle drawer function so that means it will open the drawer if it is closed and it will close the drawer if it is open right so i can use this toggle drawer or I can use the open drawer as well that doesn't make any difference over here and I will remove these brackets so I save it now what we need to do we need to close this metro bundler UI process because we have added another package and to run this properly we need to recompile our project so here is our react native run iOS command so I hit enter okay i have made another mistake that is create drawer navigator is not present like it cannot find the variable so it will be from this create drawer navigator so i need to import this as well over here paste this code now save it after that we can reload it okay so it has been added now if i click on this open drawer okay nothing is happening over here but it should open the drawer let me check what is happening okay so i have found the issue actually we need to provide the bracket over here so now if i save it and close this metro bundler ui process again and reload our project so now we can see that our project has been started and now click on this open drawer but now we can see that our drawer has been opened so this is our side drawer right so that's how our drawer has been opened over here and now if we click on detail screen then we are in the detail screen now right and from here as well we can open it okay but currently we don't have any button to open the drawer over here so we can open it from the left hand side okay so we can slide through left hand side then we can open our drawer now we can go back to our home screen as well so this is the open drawer button it is opening the drawer so currently we don't have any function for this toggle drawer because when this drawer is opened that time the open drawer button is not available to click and close the drawer so that time when the drawer is open we can click on this grape area and it will close automatically so in that case we can also use this open drawer as well so it will also work so i reload it and now we can open it so that's how our drawer is working right so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new if you have any kind of confusion regarding this drawer navigator then i think i have cleared it in this tutorial and you need to remember that every time you implement something from react navigation that time you need to go to their documentation that's why every time i show you how to implement any kind of package from their documentation right so we need to get habituated with the documentation over here and if you follow the documentation then you can see that it is not that much difficult to implement it over here so that's how we need to implement it and i will create a dedicated playlist for this react navigation version 4 so currently we have two tutorials in this playlist and i will add more tutorials on it so you can find the playlist in the i button in the top right hand side of the screen that's the tutorial guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends whoever you think they are having some difficulties to implement react navigation into their project and don't forget to comment down below let me know what is your thoughts and if you have any kind of suggestion for me for my next tutorials then also let me know in the comment section below and i will see you later in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye